Hey guys, it's your boy Kenshin Fruitsin and today we're going to be reviewing Davy Claude Angon. He's a really amazing player, his form is extremely powerful. He is he's kind of like Drogba in a sense because you don't get to see Drogba a lot in form in a uh, ultimate team matches because people don't like using him. But uh he is Drogba, to be serious. He's amazing. He has really good shooting, really good dribbling and some it's kind of a good heading the only problem is his passes so don't bother putting him at central forward you're gonna regret it he doesn't have good passes but this is the kind of player you just leave him at strike leave him all the way forward get him the ball and he will score that I, that I can assure you because he is amazing on the ball I got mine for 15k pretty good deal you can get yours cheaper because he's a really cheap informed player his acceleration is 86 which is pretty good so boom he's off away with the ball with four star skills which is amazing his long shot is 79 that is brilliant really brilliant jumping is 86 he's an amazing player when i look at him i think i'm looking at Jogba. to be serious he's amazing all-around player he is his long shots a beast i've actually taken a couple of long shots with him you're obviously you're obviously going to see a long shot here but when he breaks away from the defender you can't catch up with him he just goes and is, he can shoot from outside the box and it will go in that I can assure you. Look at that. All you have to do is get him the ball. Get him the ball and he will do the job for you. He will break away from the defenders. I mean, when you look at his pace, you actually think he's slow. When I, I, I thought 83 pace was slow, but 83 pace isn't slow. He feels more like 85, 87. That Pato kind of shot. Yeah, he kind of feels more like that. So in a sense, you should understand what I'm talking about. Here's a really long shot I scored with him, absolutely amazing. He is one of those players that when you look at their, at their stats, you're disappointed. But when you actually go in game, they amaze you. He's just like that. He is faster than 83 pace. He feels like 87. His shot power feels like 85. His heading, not so good. But he does get good headers if you put him in the right position. Like I said, don't put him on central four. You're going to waste him. He's a striker. Just leave him up front. Get him the ball and he will score. That I can assure you. Don't even think about putting him at central forward and trying to pass with him. You will feel miserably. You serious? I tried it. He's not worth the hassle. So it's been your boy, Kinchman15. Have a nice day and peace. And yes, get this guy. He is worth it.